This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, this right here where this handle is, is I'm going to slip that over my pinky. So you guys watching outside can pay attention to this too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up and down like this to get to a good workable length. Eventually, when there's not a lot of dogs around, you're going to use all six feet. But for right now, we'll just use part of that, unless you're in a safe area where you can use that six feet. Now we're gonna do this so that when my hand is away from my body and about my belly button height, the chain is not touching the floor. We're gonna come in, and when we come in, we're going to walk forward, palm direction forward, Gonna, you don't have to gate or anything like that because we haven't learned that yet. But the first person is going to come over to this first spot right here. And what you want to try to do is get your dog to touch a paw on that target and reward and act like you're happy. That means smile. Okay, gate your dog to your target. Very nice. Next. Beautiful. Next. Fantastic. Next. Fantabulous. Next. Amazing. Next. Incredible. Next. Oh my goodness. No. There we go. Okay. All right. Good job. Praise your dogs. Smile like you're having fun. <laughs> it's an act. Remember, it's dog show. So you're like, ta-da. All right. Go ahead and go to your next set. Good. Drop your hand down. I know your belly button is nowhere near there. <laughs> good. Good. Look at everybody. Smiles, everyone. Good. Fred, you're not smiling, and that's your best trait. <laughs> good job. Praise your dogs. Awesome reward. See, that's why your carry's acting up, because you're going, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> now just kick her and go Rarrr. okay river oh there it is go get it get it get it get it yes look at that tail guys so now we know you guys are perfect without dogs <laughs> we're gonna add dogs and see how this changes things okay so i don't care about form or gait or speed or anything at this point i just want you guys to come into the ring and get your dog to have fun and touch the target. Okay, as soon as you're ready, go ahead and bring your dog in. Go to your first stage. Wow, that's not easy to do. Good. Very nice. Good, good. Don't pull and don't be pulled. Shake your hand so the dog can see. If you have to, you can stick the bait right in their nose. Your goal is to eventually get it to the point where your dog follows your hand. But again, I don't expect that this very first time because they don't know how to do any of that stuff yet. Well, actually they do. You just need to learn how to communicate with them. So I need a perfectly matured, perfectly trained dog. <laughs> okay, so go over there and disappear. Yes, I know. I got treats on me and probably breakfast and all kinds of cool stuff. How many of you noticed that when the dogs came in the ring, the first thing they did was check the ring out? Okay, that's gonna happen. They wanna see what's inside that ring. So you've got to be prepared for that. If you come into the ring, you gotta shake that hand so they start to focus on this hand. Because now you have control of what that dog is doing if they're following this hand right here. I love well-trained dogs. Okay, so what I want to do to first establish how we're going to connect with these dogs ah, 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 is I want them to just stand on this mat. Ah, 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 ah. You have no manners. 
but you're really fun to kiss. Okay. So, ah! Ah! Back up. Back. 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 Ah! Good. Ah! Now, you notice my eyes are not on this dog. Yay! That was so good. Ah! Good. 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 Back up. There it is. There it is. Good. 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 Very nice. Good. Very good stay. That's a good stay. No, no bad dog. No, no bad dog. Good. 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 Take a break. Good job. Yay. That was so good. Yes, it was so good. Okay, let's go over here. Notice how close my hand is to the dog's mouth. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Get the treat. Very good. Good, very good, very good, yes, very good. Okay, so I want the dog to go onto that mat now. Shake my hand, bring the dog where I want it to go, lean forward, walk backwards, and stand. Very good, very good. But I'm trying to get her to understand, follow this hand. So as I shake it, she knows, oh, I know he's got a treat in it. So all I got to do is this right here. And then after I do this one, I go to the next one. And I go to the next one. These are super simple targets right here. And you can get placemats. You can go to Bed Bath & Beyond, find the stuff in their sale drawer. And this works great. And you can even take it to a show. After we do this, we're going to do more difficult targets. But first, I want you to learn how to do this. So I want you to show, show me this target here. OK. Now, there you go. There you go. Nope, don't pull. Did you guys hear that clicking sound? You never want to hear that sound where you caused that right there. That's why it's important to learn now to control this dog by using your hand positioning. Okay, so when you came from that point A to this point B, did something go away from your brain? Yes. Okay, tell me what was going through your brain. Trying to get her here instead of paying attention. Exactly. So then when you got here, you had to think about right. what to do. Okay, if you guys notice, the dog, when he checked out, the dog checked out. If you guys are thinking about what you're going to do when you get there, then your dog, you're going to lose your dog. You're going to disconnect. But if you think about before you go to your next spot exactly how you're going to do this, how you're going to communicate, then the dog will be with you the whole time. Okay, so oh, look at the difference now. Okay, so you're going around, face your dog, lean forward, walk backwards, and stand. So you kind of walked backwards, but you didn't lean forward. Oh. So when I stand up, this means stay. When I lean forward, this means come. So you're communicating with all parts of your body right there. Okay. I promise you guys, if you get them connected to that hand, you will have a dog connected in that hand in the ring. And that's going to mean a lot. Because you see so many people out there running around in the ring, dragging their dogs around. Because the second you pull tight on that lead, You've just lost your respect, and now you got to go backwards and start at square one again. So it's not worth it to even pull that much right there. It's all about getting that dog connected to that hand right there. Okay, watch your eye contact. Any eye contact will take away from the dog paying attention to your hand. Good touch. I need to try those treats. He doesn't care about those treats. Okay, you stay there. I'll come. These are like doggy crack. Is this is the, the, oh, 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 oh. Here, try this. Put that right in the dog's nose. 
You're like a buffet over there with <laughs> toys and treats and <laughs> you got a dove in there too or I think so. <laughs> Okay, so put in the lead hand right in front of the nose. There we go. Like I said, this Northwest Natural is like doggy crack. <laughs> Look at that tongue. Look at that expression. This stuff, I'm not joking when I say this stuff is like magic. Northwest Natural, you can get it any place that sells dog food. You just go in and say, this is the flavor I want, and they'll put it on the next. Look at that chow. <laughs> There's some things that would make that exercise easier. Oh, those treats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be the next commercial for Northwest Naturals. <laughs> what size treats do you have there? Okay, but he wants bigger pieces. He says, Uncle Eric knows. And what did he just do to your foot? Oh, he stepped on it. Yeah, and you didn't acknowledge that. Sorry. Here, take that before he does. <laughs> Good. So this dog, this puppy right here, she's been working with quite a bit. But you put it in an environment like this, what happens? All of a sudden, puppy brain takes over. But notice how she's not getting frustrated with that. That's really good. And this dog will work through this. This dog doesn't need to be a, a special for another year or so. Okay? So give it time to grow up and just have fun. The dogs do not have to be perfect. If I look into your eyes, you would prefer looking into my eye than my hand. But I've worked so hard to get you to work at this hand, look at this hand and pay attention to this hand. And now I look in your eye and I start right back to square one. So don't look in their eyes because they're, per they're hungry for that because they can control you. They have more control of you when they're looking in your eyes. Much better. Okay. Shake your hand. Good. Good. Okay. Next station. Make sure the dog's clear before you go to the next spot. Very good. Very good. 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 Shake your hand if you lose connection. Very nice. Shake your hand. Good job. Beautiful reconnect right there. Good, good, very nice. That <laughs> circus dog. <laughs> okay, first station. Okay, was the dog following your hand when you got to the target? I think so. No, because your hand was over here. So he did an amazing job with this dog, but when he got to the mat here, he just basically went like this. See where my hand is? So that's inconsistent communication right there. If you do the same thing, bring the dog over, lean forward, walk backwards, and stand. Then you'll get the dog to start following that hand all the time. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. okay, lean forward, walk backwards. Okay, so you had no communication with your hand. So get that hand lower. Okay, lead the dog onto the platform. There it is. You got it. Good. Yay! I can't look at it. No. Okay, now look at me, though. You can look at me. So when you lean forward, that's his key to step forward. Okay. When you see that hand, that paw come up, look at me, not him. When you see that paw come up, you want to stand and he'll put that paw down right on that target. So you can control that right there. Can you talk to him? You can talk to him. Okay. It's better that you use body language over anything else. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> it's better that you use body language as communication over vocal okay. because you're really trying to get on, this, on that hand. But these exercises are teaching you to develop communication with this hand. You should be paying attention to me, not the dog. If you don't have that hand communication with this dog and this dog breaks that gate, you have no way to control that. But if, 
if I'm a judge and I love this dog, but I can't see him gate properly, I can't give him the win. And it, I guarantee you, if you don't get connected with your hand in this dog, that's gonna cause you a lot of wins right there because this dog is spectacular, but he breaks the gate almost every single time. Okay. So these exercises are doing so many things. They're helping you to get control. They're helping you establish your leadership. They're help, helping you establish that, that bond you need, that connection with that dog, with the respect and trust. But more importantly, they're giving you a tool to use in the ring to communicate. When you see Kent Boyles and he is flying around the ring with a dog like Rumor, how far out is Rumor in front of him? About 12 to 14 feet. He did not train Rumor like that right off the bat. It starts off, remember those puppies? Where the puppies were following his hands? So Rumor starts off with just following his hand, then later on, shake, palm direction. And when you learn how to use that palm in the direction you want the dog to go, the dog sees it in the beginning, feels it, and understands that even if they're out in front of you 14 feet, and I'm working this chow six feet ahead of me like this, I can go shake, shake, and bring my palm backwards, and the dog will know to slow down. So this is the building block that's gonna help you guys be successful. So good. Shake the hand. Look at how well she's connected with that chow now. Okay, rear feet. Good. Good. It's a little tougher, it takes a little more practice. Okay, praise your dogs, put these dogs away. Big smiles, everybody. Okay, let me show you guys another simple little training session. Well, I like to do things that are play with a purpose, but there's also some times where you have to ignore your dog. And the reason why you want to ignore your dog is because you want the dog to learn what boundaries are and what rules are and be able to, at, a, at an instant, get the attention of this dog. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at, look at, look at. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, here we go. Good. Very nice. Where are my eyes? Good. I knew. Exactly. Oh, you did so good. Yes. Okay, so. <laughs> so here what I can do is while I'm waiting to go over and get judged, I'm doing in the ring exactly what you guys did all day today. So I'm just standing here, my dog's on a loose lead, then I wanna get my dog's attention, bring my dog over here, and I give my dog a job to do. Good, very nice. This is much better than fidgeting with your dog. You don't need to look at your dog. I mean, I can look at you guys and get this dog to do what I want this dog to do and not sit there and focus on this dog. So this is a training session, just standing in one spot. Very nice. Good, good. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. <gasps> that was good, yay! Stand. Or stand. You have some people that go behind the judge, and then when they take off, they're over here, and they try to get the dog in front of the judge, but it takes too long to get this dog in front of the judge perfectly. You have the other people that after the exam will come over here, and they do the courtesy turn. And this is really pretty. Because <laughs> there's your dog. <laughs> what I ask you to do is come over here, get your dog past the judge, stand directly in front of the judge, toe to toe, belly button to belly button. Who's your judge paying attention to? You, because you're right in front. So what I'm going to do is my hand, palms facing that way, because that's the way I'm going, 
my hands right between her belly buttons. And then as soon as my dog gets to the point where it's directly in front of my judge, I'm going to step out of the way. So my judge, when it looks at the dog, sees a perfectly straight dog when I do that. So now, how do I step out of the way? I'm going to whoop, over to the side, turn, and go. And now this judge sees a perfectly straight dog. When I get to this side, I get my dog past me so I don't step on it. I back up. When my dog is straight, I step away from my dog and take my hand back to the judge. Now the judge only sees a perfectly straight dog because I'm blocking the dog when I don't want it to see that. Stay. And there you go. Come on. I know, sweetheart. <laughs> there you go. Good. You're making me tired just watching your butt. <laughs> good. 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 Swing wide and away. Come straight back. Good. Straight down the middle. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And touch. Yay! That was awesome! Pretty, pretty! The sound is coming from this direction. From this direction. I am not a ventriloquist. No. 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 Yes. 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 Good job. Yes. Yes. Good job. Yay! Yay! Good! Aha! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! This way! Good! 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 See what I'm doing? Palms going this way, palms going that way, palms going this way. So, okay, pass me. Okay, and then stand in front, walk backwards, turn and go. He says, woohoo! Hey there. <laughs> Let go of the leash. <laughs> <laughs> woohoo! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <He's so late. laughs> now that's going to be a blooper, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Eric in the hospital? It was a rock <laughs> Eric. Oh. <laughs> that has got to be the funniest thing that's ever happened to me, right? <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> okay, now, now let's try it down and back.